Hello everyone today Dr. Demchenko is with you and we will talk about how to remove shoulder pain. Of course, if you fell, something crunched, tore, it's better to go to an orthopedic traumatologist, did an MRI, maybe have an operation or something else. But if you overtrained or your shoulder got sick on its own, then you can try a couple of exercises that work very often. Exercise number one works well if you have such a set of symptoms. The first is painful to lift your arm up. The second is painful or limited to lifting to the side. The third is limited to pulling back, but relatively painless. And how to understand whether you have a limited pull back or not. Try to compare with the other hand. If the other hand it goes easily. And this one is more difficult, but not very painful. This is her sign. And the third is that it is easier for you to break this arm into resistance than this one. With a very high dose of probability, the first exercise will help you. For the first exercise, you will need a wardrobe or chest of drawers. To do this, stand with your back to it. Turn your hand so that the palm looks at the ceiling and put it on the level, let's say, of a shelf or chest of drawers, where you can put your hand without pain and without turning to the hand. Then you need to turn exactly with your back to the closet. The hand should lie deep enough in the shelf, and we start doing squats. Squats are done with an even good back in order to get a good stretch in the shoulder. Do 10 light squats and then be sure to double check the symptoms. That is, whether it has become easier to raise your arm. Whether the muscles have become stronger. What are the general sensations? If the overall feeling has become better, then you can go to the progression. The first type of progression is that you can throw your arm a little higher and sit down a little harder. Make sure to move smoothly and not quickly. We are not trying to set anything anywhere. We are trying to stretch the tissues smoothly, gently, rhythmically. After two to three days of such exercises, if you see that progress has slowed down, you can do strengthening, but not on the first day. Preferably, it needs to take a few days. In the form of amplification, we can use a delay at the end of the amplitude. You went down and just sat here in order to stretch the tissues even better. If you feel that after a series of exercises there are some unpleasant aching sensations, you can also put ice on the shoulder area for 10 to 15 minutes through the fabric in order to just calm the tissues a little. And this means that you did a little too many exercises at a time and reduced the number of repetitions to 10. Exercise number 2 helps a little less often, and we do it with the following clinical picture. If it also hurts you to raise your arm up, it hurts to raise your arm to the side but the retraction is not limited, and it goes well without pain and high. Then you can try to work with internal rotation. This exercise goes well if you can bring the sore arm to the middle of the spine. Up to here, if you can't start it, then do exercise number one until it gets to the middle. Then you need to take some kind of stick. It should be a better stick than some kind of belt. Grab the stick from above with your healthy hand, and the stick from below with your sick hand. Then we make a small passive pull up of the arm up the center line. It may hurt a little. But we can consider it a good sign if after the 10, 12, 15 repetitions with each repetition it will be a little easier and a little higher to go. It is also considered a good pain when exercising if it is of such a pulling, relaxing nature. After a series of exercises, be sure to double check the straight arm lift, lateral withdrawal and the force of external rotation. If they all improve, then we continue to do exercise number two in the same mode as the first. Exercise number three. We use exercise number three. If after exercise number one and number two, you have the characteristics of lifting through the side and external rotation have become worse. If they have become worse, then we can use the following exercise. You need to put your hand on some kind of high support. Or if it's a lower table. 
you have to sit down. Put your hand down and do these repetitive movements with the second hand, external rotation. After 10 times, be sure to double check how things are going. If things are going well, you can repeat this exercise in the same mode. As a progression for this exercise, you can also use a higher lifting and elbow position. For example, if you have some kind of stationary surface, you can sit down and perform rotation with a higher amplitude or use a higher support. If you want all these exercises to be as effective as possible, then it is very important to perform them at the end of your maximum amplitude of movement. If you can, for example, raise your hand up to here in the exercise, then movement in the average amplitude is unlikely to give very good results, that is, you reach the end amplitudes and you work in it. If we are using an exercise with external rotation, the same movement here most likely will not give good results. If you have the end of the amplitude here, then it would be good to reach it, because in fact these exercises are stretching tissues at the end of the amplitude of movement. If you liked the video and the pain is gone, put likes, write comments, Dr. Demchenko was with you. Bye to everyone.